there and welcome to Complete Games. I'm James and we continue my journey to unlock all of the Exosu armor skins and get ourselves that Shadow Main Chibi. Today we're on the Aberration map and we're going to be going over all five locations that you need to find if you're following along. Of course, you're going to need a copy of the Genesis 2 DLC and all of the prequel DLC to do this as it involves going over all of the maps to unlock this piece. And we're starting off at what would have been the main HQ for the original survivors here, Santiago and Diana. Of course, we just need to get HLNA out and we'll listen to the first note from Rockwell. Should just trigger it over at the end here. Here we go. Here you two are. Still on a tour of all the old haunts? Well, this place was pivotal, I'll grant you that. This is where I made myself a god, after all. Okay, so that basically confirms that this was the main HQ, because of course Rockwell did the experiment with the Admonium at the main base location. So I thought to make this challenge a little bit more interesting, we were going to complete it from this very spot, and we're going to reach all of the locations that we need to find right from this platform. So you're going to need a glide suit, and a radiation suit and we're heading off into the blue forest biome for note number two so what i'm going to do is speed up the video and then you can follow along yourselves So we're coming into land here, and this large rock sticking out from the water is a good landmark. But what we're looking for is this little abandoned outpost of buildings just on the floor here. And of course the nameless can spawn, so I just need to get my light pet. I wonder, has this puppet told you anything about its creator? I never understood Ms. Walker's affinity for the creatures on these arcs. Now that I'm creating beasts of my own, I admit, I'm learning the appeal. My light pet's not gone off, so we've summoned a nameless. But I must admit, I'm liking the appeal of Rockwell's shadow main, so I'm looking forward to getting on that when we eventually get to Genesis Part 2. But let's get away from this nameless and get back to the original HQ. So we're back at the base HQ and we're going to jump from here. This time around we need to go right into the depths so you will need your radiation suit for this one and we need to go to where we summon Rockwell for note number three. So I'll speed it up. Just gonna have to land we're not gonna get this done in one jump because my radiation suit is about to break of course if that breaks while we've got a glider on we'll be having a bad day but this is actually quite a nice spot to jump from and it's probably my favorite thing to do on the aberration map this just never gets old this base jump love it now at the bottom of the cavern here you'll see a giant leviathan skeleton and we just need to follow its back and that will bring us to where we summon Rockwell. I love doing this base jump. So we just follow its back and that will bring us into the portal room. This is about as far as my plan got. 
because we've got no way of taking out these rock drakes. So what I thought we'd do is we'll be real sneaky like, hopefully just get in and jump back off because there's quite an incline at these steps here. Hopefully we won't aggro them. Okay, let's go for it. Oh, okay, let's got it, let's got it, let's get out of here. It is amusing to realize now we were never more than patterns to those future people. They recorded us in their big book of recipes, then selected each of us at random to grow in their vats. Ran us through their mazes, with an eye toward any useful survival skills. Evolve or die. Well, I surely exceeded their expectations. Well, we managed to get in and out without being detected. But of course, we've got a long climb to get back to the HQ. So I'll see you when we get there. For the fourth note, we're going to need to go into the hidden grotto cave where the artifact of the shadows lies. And for this jump, we're going to slightly go in at a different angle. And there's a smaller entrance just at the bottom of this river here. So here's the small cave entrance that we're going to go through this time. And you want to hang a right when you come into this cave. As you'll see, there's three stone pillars and we're aiming to go through the middle of these two in front of us just here. Okay, so we're closing in on our destination. Up in front of us there, you can see that big pink crystal. And that's roughly just sat in front of the cave that we're going to need to get into. Just pull up our coordinates. We're at 4661 roughly. There we are on the map. Now, of course, ideally, you would probably want to have a tame with you. Uh, something underwater, perhaps even a frog to go in this cave. But in our case, we're just going to use some flippers for speed. Of course, my tactic for this one is just getting in there as quick as we can and running past everything. So, following these two waterfalls, you can see there's some sort of spiky rocks sticking out of the water here. And the cave is just sat behind it. Now, this is going to be dangerous going in there like this because there's electric eels and jellyfish and all sorts usually on the river. So hopefully it's clear. Um, I can see an angler fish there, but I think we're clear, so we dive. Okay, now you don't require an O2 tank for this one. Even if you haven't pumped any points in oxygen, like I haven't because it's a complete waste, but uh, you can make this spelunking dive in one go. So just follow the light of the rocks here and then coming back up to the surface is not actually as high as it was before. Okay. Just put some shoes on. Now, of course, originally we didn't have cryopods so it was more difficult to go beyond this little point at the bottom here. So this time I think what we'll do is we'll just jump and try and get through there as quick as we can. Ooh, okay, it is downhill, so we should be able to jump and just get past as much as we can. There we go. So there's just a hole or a crack at the bottom here, and they shouldn't be able to follow us through. There we go. And I can't see anything, but we need to jump directly in front of us. Just got my climbing hooks ready, because we need to cling on to the side of this. Okay, we go in the note. It's just here. Oh, it's already activated. You should know that I'm well aware oh. Mr. Pelt's tentacles has been talking for you. I'm working with you on that. Not to worry. I've just got a few million more dial sockets to encrypt, and then we should be locked out for good. Estimated time to complete. Um, better I don't say. I don't think that Kokonis is on us. But. I think we got quite lucky here. And if we 
we can just get up the top here, it shouldn't be able to get us. Fortunately, I bought an extra set of climbing picks with us. But we've got note 4. We're just going to have to climb back up that way. For our next note, we're going to have to head to the portal spawn area. And I guess I'll see you when we get there. So here we are at the fifth and final location for your last note. We are at the portal spawn area. It is down on the maps as being an easy place to spawn in, but far from it. There is quite often raptors and the odd basilisk here, so I'd hardly call it an easy zone to spawn in on. But our fifth and final note is just behind me. And it's from Santiago. You do need the HLNA bot in order to read these still though. Let's see what he says. Thought I'd leave a little something behind for prosperity's sake. For anyone following behind us. Listen, this arc you're on is poisoned. The whole system's breaking down. You're going to need to do whatever you can to get yourself down to the surface. And look us up when you get there, okay? Now let's just hope this crazy plan of ours works. So there you have it, that's the exosuit chest piece unlocked. And we can get an idea of what the tech armor's going to look like on Genesis Part 2. There's the jetpack at the back. And they've cut all of the old crystals off and made it look a lot sleeker. But of course, our journey continues on the extinction map and a little mini note read through from Santiago, which is going to be coming up next because we're doing a bombardment of videos for you in one day. And comments down below if you're enjoying this one. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.